welcome back thanks for jumping back once again to another video the second video of the series so this is basically the second lecture for the analysis so let's not waste the time if you are new to this channel you must watch the previous video if you are learning technical analysis and please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have any question about the previous video or in this video you might want to ask them in the comment section as well as in our telegram community i have attached the link below the video so in the last lecture we learned about both of these candles what are these candles and what do they represent how the price action is different on them so in this video we are going to talk about the types of candles that how many types of candles are there so for that i am going to use some reference from the brother google so i think this is it what i got from the google so we're going to look at this first type of candle it is its name is the shaved bottom so you will see some candle that will have this kind of pattern on that it is known as shaved bottom what happens here is that i told you the green candle it always opens from the downside from the bottom so the green candle it opened here the buyers took the price completely to the upside up to that top and that place there were some sellers and they bought it here and the time was over for the candle so what happened is basically that there is no wick formed to the downside it's a complete without wickless let's say without wickless is the same thing let's say wickless so it's a wickless candle to the downside it has only one wick to the upside so we call this candle as a shaved bottom so at the similarly we have a shaved head candle that shows this kind of structure that means the candle opened uh, at the bottom at this place the sellers they took the price to the downside and the buyers they came back in they took the price to the upside however there was a hollow space created here now talking about these gravestone candles these candles have these long huge wicks and they have these this let's say these they would be just one line like that or a little bit let's say little little of body just a, like a dwarf kind of thing even a little body than that so so in this candle if the gravestone candle it is a green candle just like this one so same thing happens is that the thing opens from the let's say the the downside it goes up completely up and the sellers they show they come in strength they come in with lot of selling and they sell so much that they come back to the same point where the candle opened so that shows the selling pressure okay now we have learned these three candles let's try to spot them in our charts so this is one candle you see this candle it has a wick on the top side and no wick to to its bottom if this one you see that am i talking about this one yes so this candle it has no wick to the downside and there is a wick at the top of it so what was that candle let's recall again it was the shaved bottom now look for shaved head there you go this is a shaved head this is an example of shaved head however it has a little bit wick you can find you can you have time to find other i have to record this video so let's go for the gravestone okay where is the gravestone we will find this gravestone so i have found this gravestone candle however it is a red candle let me explain what happened here similarly the candle opened from the from the top side and and the the buyers they took the price to the upside first 
And then the sellers came back again in and they took the price to the downside and closes, closed it below the body. So that is a gravestone candle and I told you it represents selling. So you can see that the price at here was $30,000 for Bitcoin. You see the price here. When I do this, you see the price to the right side. It was $30,429 and there was, the sellers were powerful. They took the price down to 30000 So this is a big green candle that is basically really a bullish candle. You find them, you can find them everywhere. It represents bullish momentum. This one is a big red candle. It represents bearish momentum. Did I tell you what is bullish and what is bearish? So basically bullish means in, in these financial markets, there are two types of uh, people. One is the bull that was always push the price to the upside. He is the green guy. He is the guy you want be the who is behind these candles and you want them to be there if you want the price on the upside. You can either be bull or bear as well. It's completely your trading strategy. And there is bear who is responsible for these things, these red candles. So they sell these stocks. They, are, they keep selling these stocks so that they can make money. They bid on the selling. Bulls, they buy the stock. They, they, they make sure that the price goes up. They always bet on the, on the top side. So if things go into his, his zone, we say it's bullish. That means the bulls have taken over. If things go to the downside, that means it's bearish. The bears have taken down and they take down the price. Let's hop back to the candlesticks. So that is a dragonfly doji. That is a bullish candle. That means the buyers are, the bulls are powerful. The buyers are powerful. Hanging man, that also represents that the bulls are powerful. This is a doji. Doji candle, it represent indecision between both buyers and sellers. So usually this is a price reversal candle. That means if the price is falling down for a long time, for a long, long time, the price is falling down and you spot this Doji, that means the price is soon going to go up. So just like this, the prices were going up, up and you started seeing some Doji candles here, a Doji here. So you see those doji that means soon the price will fall down. Similarly, if the price is going down for a long time and you want a doji, just see that the price is going down, down, down and you see some dojis here. So the price reverses, it goes up. That just indicates that, that does not tell us that the price has to go up. That is however an indication. So we use multiple indications. So look at that candle I told you about this this one what was the name of this candle try to test yourself what was the name of this candle so this was gravestone as well so and some might call it inverted hammer but they you need a big wick like this one okay so hammer it's a bullish candle as well there's a small there might be a small wick to the upside a small body however a long wick that is a bullish candle. Similarly, inverted hammer, no matter it is green or red, it represents somehow the bears are in power. That is very simple to understand. You, you see the wicks to the upside, that means the sellers are powerful and soon sellers might take over. If you see the wicks to the downside, that means the buyers are buying the things. So you talk about the spinning top. This is a little candle, a short candle. It is used for price reversals as well that means that the price is continuously going up and you see a spinning top on some candle and the price might reverse sometime soon so these are not only some examples there are so many examples of the candles you can start there are like more than 50 or 60 examples of these different types of candles that you can study I have attached a PDF that I downloaded from somewhere just for help material. I have attached that below in the comments. You can access that. I think I should show you that. If I can. 
yes this is it so that's the the pdf you might want to read it has lot of knowledge it is full of knowledge you can download it i will uh, tell you some advanced concepts as well so this will come in handy you will you have to look at these things you so you understand the better so lot of more candles explained in there with examples as well so please make sure you download this so that you can also do okay so where are we <clears throat> okay so we have now till now we have this concept of bull bear and candles as well and now look at this one candle you see this is a hammer however a red hammer it has a wig to the downside but that shows the buyers they bought too much of buying on this place that means the next candle it might be green candle the price could go up because the buyers are coming in power and they might be in power for the next candle as well so i think that was it for today's lecture if you have any kind of questions please make sure you ask them in the community you can join our community the link is in the description or you can put a comment under this video i will try to reply as soon as possible see you in the next video